Hey, last week at Westling, I'm Mr. Urban. And I'm Batman. And you're watching Last Week at Westling. I'm here with my very special guest, Batman. Hello. Hey, Westling. Batman, wh why aren't you wearing a mask? Uh, I am wearing a mask. Yeah. What? Not, not that kind of mask. Uh, like a mask that pr protects people from the coronavirus. Oh, yeah, the coronavirus. Uh, okay, well. Awkward. Okay. Batman, why do you wear your mask? Why do you wear your cape and cowl? Uh, protect my secret identity and people I care about. Right, right. To protect your secret identity. Okay. Yeah. Well, like a mask like this, it protects in the same way. It protects the people that we care yeah. about and ourselves from okay. the coronavirus. Okay. Just like your mask protects the people that you care about from supervillains. Oh. So, I'm sorry, man. You need to be wearing a mask. Okay. Can you do that for me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Awesome, thank you. You're helping keeping me and yourself safe. Right now. I'll find one of my utility belts. You guys are watching. Last, Last week of Wesley. West Lane. Counting double digit thousands. <laughs> yes. Coming up first is a brand new segment that is sure to make you think about things a little differently. Coming up first is Gus and Caleb talk about life. Hi, I'm Gus. And I'm Caleb. And this is Life. With us, the cool boys. On today's episode of Life, we talk about how I stubbed my toe. We'll also talk about my favorite puppy. Wow, that puppy is really cool. Yes. Now we will cover the tragic incident of my toe stubbing. Yes, that was a very tragic incident. As I was being carried on a stretcher, the people carrying me dropped me and my kneecaps twisted 180 degrees around. Wow, that sounds painful. I bet the stow tubbing was the worst part of it. It was. This concludes our segment. If you want more of this segment, go and like this video. Join us next time for more updates on life. Our next segment is on last week at West Lane, Staple, and it's really famous. So, put your hands together for Deep Thoughts with Mr. Doss. Hmm. Hi, West Lane. It's been quite a while. I, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking since last time we talked. I, um, but... With this election coming up, it got me really thinking um, that if the opposite of pro is con, does that make the opposite of progress Congress? I don't know. I don't know much about politics, but I will say Whoever this uh, Pedro person is that that says vote for Pedro on his shirt, I um, I think I'm gonna vote for him because that guy's got some killer dance moves. And our final segment for you guys tonight is some interviews of, of some folks that you guys know and love in the hallway and some students talking about how hybrid has been going and some things that people are excited for. Girl, what you trying to do? Cause I don't got a clue. No. That's what I was about to hear. What are you excited about this week? For me, uh, being a first year teacher here, I wasn't really expecting middle school to be as tall as they are. I've been surprised at how tall people are. And some people have been surprised at how short they are. So, heights in general. That's dope. Hey, I'm with Miss Trent. What are you excited about? I am so excited to have students in the room because that feeling of community is back and seeing my old students in the hall has been super awesome. That was great. How do you feel about the new modified version of school? Well, I feel like there are pros and cons to it. It's been really difficult as a teacher to get used to it, but 
I think we are all really enjoying seeing our students and seeing what you guys actually look like aside from just being on the other side of the computer. So it's, there's been some ups and downs. That's dope. What, what has surprised you about school? The thing that surprised me about school is that I thought the classrooms would be big, like kind of big, but some of them are like really small. It's kind of crampy, but hey, I can deal with it. But the thing about, uh, I thought in Zoom class, I thought the teachers would be big. Some of them are like kind of small, but that's the thing about Zoom. I'm here with Daisy, and we're going to ask her a question on COVID-19. How do you feel about the school and how COVID is so far? I mean, the school is okay. I mean, COVID, I hope it, like, you know, leaves. But, yeah. All right. Thank you. What's Alex? What has surprised you about school? Uh, that we have to come two days a week. And you have to wear some smelly hand sanitizer. Okay. I'm here with Miss McGee, and we're going to ask her a few questions about hybrid and COVID. What surprised you about the hybrid schedule so far? Um, so I will say I was a little surprised at how easy it was yesterday. There was technology issues, but kids were very well behaved. They came in, they sat down, like they followed the rules. Like it was really easy. I thought it would be a lot harder. I was a little nervous about that. So that was a good surprise. What are, what are you excited about for this coming school year? So one, I'm excited because I finally get to see you children in person. And it's funny because some of you are a lot shorter or taller than I thought you were on this video camera. So that in itself was funny. Um, two, I'm excited to finally get to meet you all. Cause even though we have a mask on, I can still tell who people are. And then three, I'm ready for basketball season to start. All right, thank you. Right, you Well, that's it for last week of Westlane. Batman, thank you so much for coming and hosting. Oh, my pleasure. I had a lot of fun. Excellent. The Wildcats, you guys are doing great. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Make sure you guys are still turning in those assignments. Yeah. It's so good to have you guys in the building. Yeah. For last week of Westlane, I'm Mr. Urban. And I'm Batman. And you're watching last week. Last week of Westlane. Peace. Peace.